Hello dear friends, welcome to the Economics Learners Lab. Myself, I am Venkatesh Kongala. I am the Founder and Managing Director of Economics Learners Lab. We have newly introduced a program called 90 Important Topics for Internet Economics, June 2020. Actually, what are we doing in this program? Here comes the answer. 1. Every day, we are releasing a one video on particular topic in Economics Learners Lab YouTube channel. The video will be more emphasized on NTA Net syllabus. 2. After detailed explanation or demonstration of the topic, we will provide a few multiple choice questions. 3. If the video length is exceeds more than 15 minutes, we will divide the video into parts. If you are really a serious aspirant of NTA Net Economics, I can bet you that this program will help you a lot. Let's begin the today's topic. Topic number 76 Types of Elasticity Types of Elasticity topic is very familiar to everyone, but this topic confuses you a lot in the exam. So be very crystal clear about different types of elasticity and the values of the different types of elasticity. So let us see what we are going to learn in this video. We are going to learn in this video what is elasticity. After that we will see know the different types of elasticity using the price elasticity of demand. After that we will do one review question. Let us see what is elasticity. What is elasticity? Elasticity analysis is a sensitivity of changes in one variable with respect to changes in another variable. It means elasticity analysis deals with the changes in one variable with respect to the another variable. In economics we say everything subject matters. Changes in one variable impacts to another. So in economics we will say increase in the prices, decreases the demand, increases the prices, increases the supply. So we don't know exactly how much percentage is changing. So we use elasticity methods to calculate exact changes in the variable. It means in reality we use elasticity methods formulas for calculate exact changes in variables. The elasticity methods are total outlay method, point elasticity method, arc elasticity method. The elasticity calculations are very useful for industries optimizing the profits and make us to understand what makes slope of curves different. So elasticity method is very useful for the industries optimizing the profits and we will know us why the curve is different. So let us go to the next slide. Price elasticity of demand. The law of demand says when the prices are rises, quantity demand falls. It means the law of demand says when the prices are increases, the quantity demand will falls. When the prices are decreasing, the quantity demand will be increases. The elasticity of demand shows the percentage changes in the quantity demand for one percentage changes in price, certain variables. It means certain variables all other things are same, one percentage changes in the prices, how much percentage changes in the quantity demand shows a price elasticity of demand. So the formula for the price elasticity of demand is percentage changes in the quantity demand divided by the percentage changes in the price. The above formula is a total outlay elasticity measure of the elasticity method. So this formula is a total outlay method formula. So you can extend this formula for income elasticity of demand, cross price elasticity of demand and for the macroeconomics variables also. So you can use this formula for measuring the elasticity for the cross price elasticity of demand, income elasticity of demand and you can use this for the macroeconomic framework also. Let us go to the next slide. Types of price elasticity of demand. The main objective of this class is to understand the elasticity types. So we are going to look into the different types of elasticity. For understanding the different types of elasticity, we are using the price elasticity of demand to explore the different types of elasticity. So the types of price elasticity of demand are five that are perfect price elastic demand, price elastic demand, unitary price elastic demand, price inelastic demand, perfect price inelastic demand. So the perfect price elastic means when the one percentage changes in the prices leads to a infinite changes in the quantity demand. Price elasticity of demand means when the prices are changes one percentage, the quantity demand also changes greater than one percentage. Unitary price elastic means the prices changes and the quantity demand changes are same. Price inelastic means when the prices are increased one percentage, the quantity demand also increases but it will be lesser than one percentage. 
perfect price in elastic demand it means when the prices are increased one percentage you will not see any types of changes in the quantity demand so let us go to the next slide perfect price elastic demand one percentage price changes leads to a infinite changes are observed in quantity demand this type of elasticity called perfect price elastic demand so in perfect price elasticity the demand curve is horizontal when one percentage increases price there will be infinite changes in the demand so let us go to the next slide perfect price inelastic demand one percentage price changes leads way no changes are observed in quantity demand called as a perfect price inelastic demand here in perfect price inelastic demand the demand curve is vertical when one percentage increase in the prices there will be no impact in the demand so this vertical demand curve also called as a steeper demand curve let us go to the next slide range and meaning this table is very useful to you so you can make a note so let us see the value of the different types of elasticity when the elasticity is perfectly inelastic the value of the elasticity will be the zero when the elasticity is inelastic the value will be lesser than one when the elasticity is unitary elastic the value of the elasticity will be equal to one when the elasticity is relatively elastic so you will get a value greater than one when the elasticity is perfectly elastic so the value of the elasticity will be infinity so be very familiar with these values let us go to the next slide do you know this it is like an exercise for you if the demand curve is a flatter what is the price elasticity of demand and why if the demand curve is a steeper what is the value of the price elasticity of demand and why this is like an exercise for you and provide your answer below this video like a comment tomorrow i will provide the answer for these questions thank you very much for watching this video don't forget to subscribe our channel because your subscription is my inspiration and give a comment like and share to the video thank you see you in another video